Today we're going to be going over our grinder general operating procedures and technical troubleshooting. Here we have our 890 series grinder. Grindmaster also makes 810, 835, and 875 grinders. General operation. First you're going to start by pouring your fresh coffee beans into the hopper making sure that you're not putting reground coffee grinds into the grinder as this will cause the grinder to jam up and not operate. First thing you'll want to do when you're starting your grind is to go ahead and select your grind profile by turning the knob. On the 810, 835, and 875, the grind will only go over to Espresso. For the 890, you have the additional option of Turkish. So we're gonna go ahead and set ours for auto drip. Next, you're gonna to wanna to pour your beans into the top through the hopper lid. You wanna make sure that you're not pouring reground coffee grinds into the hopper chute, as this will cause the grinder to jam. Once you've poured your beans in, you go ahead and shut your lid. You're gonna place your bag under the spout, making sure that you are triggering this bag switch behind the chute, fully inserting the bag as high up as you can. Next, you're going to go ahead and hit your start button. the flap here you have your shaving spring to help cut down on static electricity of the grinds hopping all over the place. You want to clear this at the end of the grind. There are two ways to stop the grinder from running. Up here you have your stop button which will immediately stop the grinder or with the grinder running you just remove your bag and you have a kill switch with your bag. Next we'll be going over general user maintenance. For this, you're going to want a flathead screwdriver, cleaning brush, and or a small vacuum. Disassembly, first you're going to want to start by taking your outermost screws off with your flathead screwdriver. You want to hold the grind dial as it will become loose. Next, you'll want to remove the cap off your feed worm and then you'll see that you have a shear pin which attaches the feed worm to the outer burr. To remove this you're just going to push in on the burr and then the shear pin will slide out of the shaft and then you will pull the feed worm out removing the outer burr. Once you remove your feed worm you're going to want to take your brush, clean off any oil residue that's built up on the burr, get any loose beans, particles out of there. And then you can also take your brush and clean the inner burr off. Get back here in the feed worm area where the drive shaft is. And last but not least, you take your vacuum and vacuum out any loose coffee grounds that are built up in the chute or in the You want to remove your tidy tray and dump any loose grounds or beans that are trapped in there. And also make sure that you're cleaning the edge and inside your grind adjust screw for debris.
First, you'll want something to trip your bag switch. You'll press your start button. Grinder will be running. You're gonna take the screw in the middle and turn it clockwise until you start to hear a chirping noise. Once you hear that chirping noise, you want to back it off just enough so that noise stops and then tighten down your outer thumb screws ensuring that the chirping noise does not come back once they are tight once they're tight you'll want to run some beans through on your finest setting going all the way over to your courses setting to make sure you have good definition between your grind now and it's properly calibrated.